This video should help me with rounding decimals. So to start with, we're just going to round to the underlined place, which is nice. They've already started what place we're going to. Just like we did with whole numbers, the number one digit right after it to the right is going to be my bully. So I have a level 8 bully talking to the 7. Level 8 bully say get off my floor, go up one more. So the 7 is going to an 8. The 2 and the 4 stay the same. And this number becomes a 0. We can get rid of that 0 if we want to at the end because it's on the outside. And that would also be an acceptable answer. 4 and 28 hundredths. Let's try the next one. We've got the 3 underlined. So 2 is going to be my bully. Level 2 bully. Stay where you're at. Act like a cat. So he's staying at 3. He's 13.3. And I could just stop there if I want because both of these other numbers are going to be zeros and I don't need them. That would be nice not to have any bullies around. 7's underlined. So 8's my bully. Level 8 bully, get off my floor, go up one more. So he's going to an 8. Those are staying the same. And I can stop right there if I want at 208. Or I can add the decimal and the zeros if you want. But really it was just 208. Sort of like I was rounding to the nearest whole number. Round to the underlying place. Level 3 bully, stay where you're at, act like a cat. He's staying at 2. He's going to 1. 1 1.2 which is the same as 1.200, 1 and 2 tenths. Round to the nearest hundredth. Okay, the only thing that's changed is we have to find the hundredth spot. I'm going from the decimal point to the right. That's tenths, hundredths. So that's what I'm underlining. Circle my bully. Level 8 bully, get off my floor, go up one more. The 4 is going to a 5. This 9 is staying the same. Got my decimal point in, and the 6 and the 7 and the whole number part stay the same. 76 and 95 hundredths. Round to the nearest tenth. From the decimal point to the right, there's my tenth spot. Level 9 bully. Get off my floor, go up one more. So he's going to a 3. Decimal point stays, and the 5 stays. 5 and 3 tenths. Rounding to the nearest whole number. Oh, that's kind of interesting. Here's the thing. The whole number is all of the part that's over here on the left of the decimal. There's my whole number part. So I'm just going to underline the whole part of that, which would mean this is my bully. Level 9 bully says to the 76, since it's both underlined, get off my floor, go up one more. So that's going to 77. And since the bully and everything after is going to zero over here, and it's after the decimal, I can just leave it at 77. Okay, for the next kind of problems, I put a couple of fast comics in here. So you can see the lady's talking to her son. All you've done is chisel all day. Do something useful like helping your brother drag those rocks up the hill. He's rounding the, no rounding the rocks off first because it's going to be easier to move then. These two came in. Also, remember, if we're adding and subtracting numbers that we round, round them off first, then add and subtract. It's going to make your adding and subtracting so much easier. The whole idea of rounding is to get something easier to work with. So here we go to the nearest pound. How much more? Much more minus, so I know we're subtracting. Does Kyle weigh than Emily? So we need Kyle and Emily, so we don't care about Tom. Since it says the nearest pound, you go, where is the pound place? If you don't know what the place is, it doesn't say tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. That means whole number. So for Kyle, there's the nearest pound. Those are pounds on that side, 71 pounds. The 72 on the right of the decimal is only part of a pound. So since we got the 71 underlined, I'm circling the 7, level 7 bully, get off my floor, go up one more. Kyle weighs 72 pounds. About. Let's go to Emily, nearest pound. I'm underlining the whole number part. Level one bully, stay where you're at, act like a cat. So Emily weighs about 58 pounds. You know, like if you went to the doctor and the doctor had a digital scale that could weigh you at 58.14 pounds, the doctor probably only writes down, hey, that's about 58 pounds. 
So now that I've rounded both numbers off, I'm just subtracting like normal. 2 minus 8, can't do. Come and borrow from your neighbor. 7 becomes 6, and 2 becomes 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 6 minus 5 is 1. And what is the 14 pounds? Let's try another one. To the nearest tenth of a second, how much faster... Tells me we're going to subtract. We got the R word with Greg than Bob. So we don't care about Alex this time. And I want to put the bigger number on top. This seems kind of weird because Greg is faster and he has a smaller number. Oh, yeah, because he can do something in about five seconds that, Greg, that Bob took 12 seconds to do. So I'm putting Bob on top. I need to round him off to the nearest tenth. So I'm going to the right of the decimal. Undermine the three. Eight level and level eight bully is what I've got. Get off my floor, go up one more. So the three is going to go up to a four. So Bob's time is about 12.4 seconds. Let's go to Greg. Underline the tenth. Level seven bully. Get off my floor, go up one more. He's going to be about 5.3. Since it's faster, we're going to subtract. Four minus three is one. Two minus five can't do. Come borrow from your neighbor. Twelve minus five is seven. Seven point one seconds. To the nearest centimeter, how much taller is Emily than Tom? Nearest centimeter. So again, it doesn't have tens, hundreds, or thousands. So that's like saying the nearest whole number. How much taller is Emily than Tom? So I want to get rid of Kyle. Underline. And Emily is bigger, so I'm going to underline the whole number part. Level 9 bully, get off my floor, go up one more. So the 158 is going up to 159. Let's go to Tom, underline the whole number part. All of it, 147. Level 3 bully, stay where you're at, act like a cat. It's going to 147. And then I'm going to subtract, because we got that ER word taller there. 9 minus 7 is 2, 5 minus 4 is 1. Minus one is nothing. Twelve centimeters taller. You know what? I just noticed on that problem, it's got pounds listed up there. But we were really doing centimeters. Well, at least we got the math part right. Let's go to the next one. To the nearest tenth of a gram, how much heavier is Spot than Rex? The nearest tenth. Heavier's got the ER, so I know we're subtracting. Spot and Rex. Spot and Rex. So I don't need Taz. So let's go to Spot because he's bigger. Find the tenth spot. Level two bully. Stay where you're at. Act like a cat. 74.3. Let's go to Rex. Find the tenth. Level seven bully. Get off my floor. Go up one more. He's going to 58.9. And then we just subtract like normal. 3 minus 9 can't do, come borrow from your neighbor. 13 minus 9 is 4. 3 minus 8 can't do, come borrow from your neighbor. 13 minus 8 is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. Line up the decimal points like buttons on the shirt. We're talking about grams. 15.4 grams. Hopefully this video helped you with rounding decimals. Remember, you want to round before you add or subtract. And if it doesn't tell you tenths, hundreds, or thousands, that means I'm going to the nearest whole number part.